Hello viewers, my name is Abela the Flutist. Welcome to Music Flute Training Class by Abele. Today I'm going to be handling the topic, six questions on how to learn to play the flute. Six questions on how to learn to play the flute. Last year when, when I was taking a lot of students through tips on flute, I have that on my fan page. When you go to my fan page, Abele the Flutist, fan page on Facebook. You see a lot of tips I give out throughout last year. I encountered a lot of questions from students, a lot of questions and so many of them, I, I, some of them I'm able to see them, some of them I'm not able to see them. Some of them send me so many questions on the fan page on how to learn how to play the flute. This also was able to birth the music flute training class by the way I want to see the students out. Some of them I'm able to see, some of them that can send their questions and answer. So taking this topic today gives me so much joy that I'm able to meet up to your needs. One of the questions asked here is, um, should I take lessons or instead teach myself? Well, what can I say about that? <laughs> we all know that um, taking lessons is one of the best things you can do if you want to really learn. For an instrument like the flute, I must confess to you, it's quite a little bit complex and so you need to take lessons. Flute lessons are one of the things so far you can get some online but you can't get detailed for flute lessons because people find it difficult and people have to have a trainer to teach you how to learn how to play the flute. Notwithstanding, we still have most students teach themselves. Some of us some are very intelligent enough to know. Me giving these classes and some of you that have, you know, connected to my website, you can actually learn when you take up these classes. And by the time you progress, in your learning you will see the need of having a teacher to teach you so if you are on that particular decision well i must confess try to take these lessons not just trying to you know put yourself into one just carry the fruit and just want to learn go to the sites where you have these lessons and get them the second question another person asked me here is question two said should i have a fixed practice period every day Beautiful, beautiful, you must have as a beginner and you want to learn how to play an instrument. And remember, this doesn't just go for only the flute classes. This goes for the different kind of instruments. Instruments are things that has to do with your brain. You know, you have to connect a lot to get it done. I remember when I was starting that every day I was always on this instrument. And you know, you get, you get to a time where it gets into you. You, you, you can't even stay without you. you want to sleep in the night you just want to pick up your flute and play at least you just want to get one note and play things like that and that habit has come to me even now i can tell you even with so much busy schedule of what i have and that's much busy i am i still want to sleep sometimes i said i have not played the flute and i still take it and play so get a period especially as a beginner get a period of timing on a day where you learn how to play question three should I do exercises as a regular part of my practicing? Should I do exercises as a regular part of my practicing? Absolutely, yes. One of the greatest exercises that you should do as part of your practicing is playing the scales. You know, run the scales up, down, like, and when you do that, it helps you to be flexible in your keys. You can't play today and then you come tomorrow, you just want to, you just want to, some of you, I've met a lot of students, that's so funny, you know, you just want to master a particular song just so you can play a particular That does not make you an instrumentalist, that does not make you a, a good professional instrumentalist, you can't become like that, you just want to master some song and when they tell you, come and play a particular key, you can't play. One of the ways you know it is, you start your practice, I mean, by starting with exercises, like, you get the first key, you get the key, like, your lessons by practicing these exercises and then you flow with them. 